Welcome to the new Navison Health Peyton Anderson Cancer Center. It's expected to be fully open for patients on November 17th. Let's take a look inside. Medical Center staff are touring the center today. Some construction work is still going on. These are offices for the navigators that uh, will help steer patients where they need to go. passing offices for various counselors. There's a central atrium in the building. Expected to soon have furniture in it. They do need some furniture. They're going to add some dainties. One of the main design features of this building is plenty of large open windows, letting in natural light to most areas, especially where patients uh, will be receiving treatment. The first floor lobby. And this area will be a demonstration kitchen where a registered dietitian will be able to tell uh, patients and families how to cook food, especially for people who are undergoing cancer care. There will be large screen TVs, TV cameras, and a fully equipped kitchen back here. This is the lobby and waiting area for breast cancer treatment patients. There will be a number of doctor's offices in this area. Uh, and we'll head back and take a look at uh, some of the exam rooms. All new exam rooms for the patients. As you can see, the contractor's punch lists are still in the door. Now for the fourth floor. Initially it looked very similar to the third with a lot of patient exam rooms and doctor's offices. But this area ahead, which isn't quite finished yet, contains 28 uh, areas for chemotherapy patients. Again, all will be outpatient. People can come in here for hours at a time, get their treatment of these little cubicles, and uh, even talk to other patients who are receiving the same sort of care. These in the back are a little more private. Central nurse, nurse's station here. This will be a snack and refreshment area where people can uh, bring uh, drinks and food, even uh, home cooked items. And for patients who need a little more privacy, but still with a great view and lots of natural light, there are a couple of small isolation rooms back here. That ends our tour of the brand new Peyton Anderson Cancer Center, opening for patients on November 17th.